Good evening, church. I wanted to share with you a reading from Romans chapter 12. So uh, here it comes. Have a listen and listen out for things that we are instructed to do, but also things where we should be passive. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Okay, what a great passage that was. Did you notice the passive things about being transformed? How you transform? Well, the active thing is offer your bodies to God. So if we offer ourselves to him, he will transform us. And as part of that, as you saw, he gives us all gifts. And then there is an instruction to use those gifts within the body of Christ. And as we've uh, spent some time waiting on God, as we've spent some time thinking about what the roles of each one of us might be within the church going forward, it's good to come back to this Romans 12 passage and once again to offer ourselves to God, to think about the gifts that he's given us and to consider how we might use those gifts within his church. A couple of notes about gifts in that passage. The first one is there's no distinguishing between different types of gifts, whether they're supernatural or natural, whether they're spiritual or something else. And the underlying thinking is, I guess, that all gifts are from God. If we have an ability to do something, we should thank God for that. We should develop it ourselves. But ultimately, it is a gift from God and it is intended to be used in his service within the life of his church. The other thing in there is there's nothing about calling to use a particular gift. And the way I would explain that is if God gives you a gift, you are intended to use it in the life of the church. If there is an opportunity for you to do it, then it's a confirmation and you really should be doing it. What we often do is we think about calling when we think about the use of a gift carrying some risk with it. So in ministry, in leadership, if we put the wrong people in the wrong place, then there's a risk to the individual and there is a risk to the church as well that we might take wrong directions. So uh, the more risk associated with using a gift, the more we really consider about it and think, is that the right thing to do? So, so we are we are going to pray. If you're listening to this ahead of Wednesday's church meeting, we'll particularly pray for Rita. But we should also recognise that all of us are in this constant situation of following God being given gifts and being expected to use them in his service. So we're going to pray for ourselves and each other. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you give gifts to all of your people. We thank you for all of the people within our church and the gifts that you've given to each one. Even though we don't really know what all of those gifts are, we recognise that they must be there because this is your promise. And we ask, Lord, that over the next few weeks in particular, as we spend time waiting on you, you will help us realise what are our gifts and how we can use them within the life of your church, both in this lockdown situation and in the new world, whatever it looks like when we come out. Father God, we offer ourselves to you again and say, use us as you see fit. Give us the gifts that you see fit. 
and give us the opportunities to use them, that we might build up the body of Christ and glorify your name. In Jesus name we ask. Amen. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will.